On this week's episode of Know Your CEO, we get to interact with Professor Kamau Gamau, who is a Vice Chancellor of the Cooperative University of Kenya. Take a look. Ever want to know how a CEO sees his world? And here's how. Apart from running an organization and strategizing, their key role is to ensure there is money in the bank. Our CEO this week is Professor Kamau Gamau, the Vice Chancellor of the, Uni of the Cooperative University of Kenya. Professor, thank you for creating time. What has your journey been like to becoming Vice Chancellor? Um, it's very interesting how it happened that uh, my name's Kamau Gamau came to be. Kamau is my name. I'm, I'm named after my uncle. Uh, Gamau was my grandfather, and my father used it as a last name. So that's how we picked it up. My academic journey started when I started my undergraduate studies at the University of Nairobi. I did a BSc in agriculture. I then did a master's in horticulture at the same university. After that, I joined the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. That time it was JKU at. Uh, I was appointed as a teaching assistant way back in 1992. Uh, after completing my master's, I was then promoted to the position of assistant lecturer. So I joined um, the cooperative, then cooperative University College of Kenya in 2015. Actually, I was appointed at the end of 2014, but I reported in January 2015 as a deputy principal academic affairs. And we were involved in ensuring that the then university college attained charter. The charter was awarded in October 2016. And immediately after the award of charter, I was appointed to act as the deputy vice chancellor in charge of academic affairs. I did that until March 20, uh, 2017, when I was appointed the acting vice chancellor. I continued in that position until March, May 2018, when I was appointed subs substantively to the position. How unique is the Cooperative University of Kenya from other universities? Cooperative uni is unique uh, in various aspects. One is its small size. Uh, it's a small university. Actually, when I first came here, I was shocked by the small size of the university. I was taken around and I was asking, is that the entire university? Yeah, that was a bit of a shock, but that makes it family. We know one another and uh, we work together very well. We are able uh, to exercise uh, the values that we have even as an institution. Prof, what vision do you have for this university? My vision for this university is to ensure that we are able to have this um, mandate of ours, which is in cooperatives, uh, being uh, really actualized. Uh, as I said, cooperatives is a very critical uh, uh, aspect of our economy. Uh, but many people do not recognize it. And therefore, we need to really ensure that we are able to bring it out. Uh, all the other universities have similar programs, and there's too much competition happening. But one of the things we want to do is ensure that we are able to differentiate ourselves so that we can be able to capture this very great aspect. Many of our students don't even know what uh, cooperatives are all about. So we need to also enable them to know that there are very many opportunities that they can get in the sector. Prof, this is quick fire. We get to loosen up a bit and get to know who Professor Kamau Gamau is beyond office and beyond all this serious stuff. Professor, this is quick fire. Apart from your ring, your phone, your watch and your specs, what else do you carry? Always. Always do have a pen with me. As a good teacher, you can never do without a pen that writes. You've had your fair share of studies abroad. Do they have half-baked students there? Well, there have been a lot of accusations uh, by the industry that uh, some of the graduates that are being produced by universities in the country do not uh, meet the cut. And uh, that is really a big challenge. And it is something that uh, as universities, we are working to ensure that we are working with the industry uh, to give students practical experience and exposure to the industry so that by the time they go out there, they are good to go. How do you deal with disgruntled striking students? 
yeah, the key thing that you need to do as an institution is always to be able to have uh, open doors so that um, the students, the leaders are able to come to you, share their grievances, and then you can be able to look at them and see how best to be able to solve them. If you don't give them that opportunity, it will always breed a bit of uh, discontent out there, which comes out into those kind of um, uh, student disturbances and all that. Lazy lecture. You know what uh, more Kenya is, Prof? More Kenyans have been there since our days in college. <laughs> uh, starting from the time when, um, uh, during Moist time, when people were being accused of carrying these uh, uh, illegal publications. And uh, yeah, we have continued to see students trying to practice cheating using such kind of means. Uh, but we are always vigilant to see that this does not affect the quality of our graduates. Have you used the more Kenya? Not at all. Why do professors and doctors take offense when not addressed by their titles? Well, after working so many years for the title, I think it is good to recognize, but I have no problem. You have one? What's your favorite book? The all-time book is the Bible. It is important for all aspects of life. Um, a recent reading I had is um, a book called uh, Blue Ocean Strategy. It's a book on uh, strategic management. A CEO prof, what's the greatest lesson you've learned? One of the biggest lessons I've learned is always to listen uh, and also to consult. When you're making decisions, decisions are very important and therefore it's important to be able to listen uh, to all um, sides uh, before you make a decision. And the other thing is uh, to do things right, not just to do the right things. Prof, you lived in Germany for a bit and studied there. I bet you know a bit of German. I'd like you to sign out in German. Vielen Dank für diese Möglichkeit, auf diese Sendung zu sein. Nächste Woche haben wir die Sendung Know Your CEO fortgesetzt. Danke.